Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new to this channel, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications, when we post the video on the channel. In this second part of the video, I will cover question number 17 to 35. The 17th question is, explain the term PID controller. A PID controller is a type of control algorithm that stands for proportional integral derivative. It is used to control a wide range of industrial processes. The 18th number question is, what is SCADA, and how does it work? SCADA or supervisory control and data acquisition is a system that remotely monitors and controls industrial processes. It collects data from sensors and instruments and provides a graphical interface for operators to make decisions. The 19th question is, what is PLC, and how does it differ from a microcontroller? A PLC or Programmable Logic Controller is a specialized industrial computer used for control tasks. It is designed for reliability and robustness. A microcontroller is a general-purpose computing device, often used in embedded systems. The 20 number question is, what is the purpose of a transducer? A transducer converts one form of energy or signal into another. In instrumentation, transducers are commonly used to convert physical parameters such as pressure, temperature, level, and flow into electrical signals. The 21 number question is, define the terms calibration and zero drift in the context of sensors. Calibration is the process of adjusting a sensor to ensure its accuracy. Zero drift is the change in a sensor's output signal when the input is at its minimum value or zero. The 22 number question is, what is signal conditioning, and why is it necessary in instrumentation? Signal conditioning involves modifying the raw output of a sensor to make it suitable for processing, transmission, or recording. It's necessary to eliminate noise, improve accuracy, and adapt signals to the requirements of the control system. The 23rd question is, explain the difference between analog and digital signals. Analog signals are continuous and can have infinite values within a range, while digital signals are discrete and have distinct values typically 0 or 1. The 24 question is, what are safety instrumented systems or SIS, and why are they important? SIS is designed to protect processes, people, and the environment by taking action to mitigate potentially hazardous situations. They are crucial for safety in industrial operations. Question number 25 is, please explain the concept of cascade control. Cascade control is a control strategy in which one controller's output is used as the set point for another controller, helping to improve control performance and stability. The 26 number question is, what is Modbus, and how is it used in industrial communication? Modbus is a common communication protocol used in industrial automation to allow various devices to communicate with each other. It's often used for data exchange between PLCs and other equipment. The 27 number question is, what is the role of redundancy in control systems, and how does it improve reliability? Redundancy involves duplicating critical components or systems in a control system. It enhances reliability by providing backup mechanisms in case of failures. The 28th number question is, what is flow measurement, and why is it important in industrial processes? Flow measurement is the quantification of the rate at which a fluid such as liquid, gas, or steam moves through a pipeline or system. It's crucial for process control, quality assurance, and resource management. The 29 number question is, what are the primary methods for measuring fluid flow? The primary methods include differential pressure measurement using orifice plates, venturi tubes, or flow nozzles, and electromagnetic flow measurement, ultrasonic flow measurement, turbine flow measurement, vortex shedding flow measurement, and positive displacement flow measurement. The 30 number question is, what is Reynolds number, and why is it significant in flow measurement? The Reynolds number is a dimensionless parameter that characterizes the flow regime of a fluid. It helps determine whether the flow is laminar or turbulent, which is crucial in selecting the appropriate flow measurement technique. 
The 31 number question is, explain the working principle of an orifice plate flow meter. An orifice plate creates a pressure drop as the fluid passes through a constricted area. The differential pressure across the plate is used to calculate the flow rate using the Bernoulli equation. The 32 number question is, what factors can affect the accuracy of flow measurements? Factors include changes in fluid properties such as density, viscosity, pipe conditions, variations in temperature and pressure, and the condition of the flow measurement device. The 33 number question is, what is the purpose of a flow calibration? Flow calibration is the process of verifying the accuracy of a flow measurement device by comparing its measurements with a known standard. It ensures the device provides reliable and accurate data. Is the purpose of a flow calibration? The 34 number question is, what are the advantages and limitations of ultrasonic flow meters? Ultrasonic flow meters are non-intrusive and suitable for a wide range of applications. However, they may not perform well with highly viscous or aerated fluids. The 35 number question is, what is the difference between volumetric and mass flow measurement? Volumetric flow measures the volume of fluid passing through a point per unit of time, while mass flow measures the mass of fluid. Mass flow is often preferred because it is less affected by changes in temperature and pressure.